Hey y'all, how's everybody doing? Okay, I got an alternator here. I'm gonna take this apart and get the good copper out of there. I've been soaking the bolts for a few days with some PB Blaster. The stuff is amazing. I think it's better than WD-40, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so, got four Allen heads that I need to break free. And then I'm going to use my impact gun to spin them out. Get that tool on there. Oh, yeah. That PB Blaster, it works. And one more. That's amazing. That stuff is so awesome. Okay, all those four are out. Let's hit this shaft right here, see what happens. Wow, well, that just all came apart nice and easy. So we've got the armature here, the copper spool is in there. Looks like we got some copper up here. I don't know, check it with the file. See that on camera oh yeah that's copper so there's that got a piece of aluminum we got to clean and the stator I gotta do a little clippy clip here and there is the stator Check it with the file. Yep, that's that nice copper color right there. So this is nice. Okay, and then here's the other side of the cast aluminum. We can clean this up and get some nice aluminum out of there. I had soaked these bolts as well, so hopefully these will come out fairly easily. Let's, let's give it a shot. Get the right tool here. That'll work. All right. And we've got a bearing in here that we need to pound out with a punch. There it is. Check everything with a magnet. And that is a nice clean piece of cast. And what else do we got going on in here? A bunch of little screws and stuff. All right, we'll deal with that in a little bit. Okay, so the armature. These pieces are pressed on. And I'm telling you, it would be virtually impossible to pry these off so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm going to cut this shaft off and then i'm going to cut across here to remove this piece right there to get to the copper so while i'm doing that here's a quick word from management hello everyone so if you remember my video with the paper shredder well, if you don't remember, I'll put a link in a pinned comments to that video. I have been working on a few things. As you can see, I have two shredders now. This shredder, you can see, it's got some serrated teeth to it. And I also have some ducting. So you want to stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to see what I am going to be doing with these two shredders coming very soon back to you scrap it all thanks scrap it all okay so got this cut off i was hoping to cut this shaft off but 
I didn't have the clearance with my angle grinder to cut that off. So I just had to cut it twice into these three pieces. It wasn't that difficult. You can see here, this is three eighths of an inch thick. And I use these Go Yonder blades. This is not a paper motion. I just think these are amazing. You can get a 50 pack of these for around $30 after tax. So it comes out to 60 cents. Just wanted to show you how much, here we are, that I used cutting that 3 8 inch steel twice. If you just take your time, you won't burn up your discs. So just a quick little information there. Okay, so I got this off of there. And now here's our spool of copper. I just got to break this plastic off. I apologize I wasn't able to do this on camera. The spot that I do it in, it, it's so dry out here and I was really worried about starting a fire. And the spot that I had to do it in, it just wasn't conducive to filming. So I apologize if anybody's disappointed. Okay, so now it's just a matter of unwinding this lovely copper. Okay. Clean up my bits here. A few stragglers right here. Let me get this cleaned up here real quick. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So while I was at it, I just cut into these bits of copper here and I just peel these things off right here. Get my screwdriver there and just lift, lift up one of the ends. nice pieces of copper there. There's a little bit of copper right there. I want to make sure I get it all. That's got some insulation on there so that's just insulated copper wire. And it looks like, nope, I thought that was brass but it's just some sort of non-metallic metal. So now we've got ourselves a nice heavy piece of steel there. Okay, so I cleaned up this off the of camera. It was just a matter of doing some unscrewing some stuff and pulling it out. Now I got some clean cast there. And then this was in there like that. I just pried it out with a screwdriver, popped out easy peasy. Another piece of aluminum there. Now we still got the stator. So y'all know what that means machete time all right so because this is really small and it's got these little nubs sticking up and so it wouldn't sit flat on my piece of steel to hammer normally so i'm going to try it in a vise like this we'll just see how it goes get this thing started yeah that's what i'm afraid of is hard to hold it tight like this but I ain't gonna give up I'm gonna keep trying and the problem is is that when I've got this clamp there there's no room for this steel to spread apart to give way for the thickness of this machete so this is a bit of a challenge but I'm up for it let's see here yeah, it's, I mean, it's working. It's just because it's clamped down. I don't, I don't know. We'll just have to find out here. Let me move this a little better. So 
look at it, it's just it's flattening it, making it oblong. Now it actually it looks like it's just kind of pushing the coils out. Hmm. Interesting. Let me um let me try something new or different, I mean. Maybe now that it's in there, see it's just so wobbly, but I don't know. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's just so so bouncy and it's pulling out the copper so it looks like the machete has met its match all right y'all got the copper out of the stator you can see it's no longer round you saw that when i was cutting it or trying to cut it with the machete and what was happening is you can see in here these are really wide compared to most staters and I was as I was pounding on the machete it was actually just pushing the copper through you, you you saw that so it wasn't cutting it so what I ended up just doing was cutting the crown off with an angle grinder and then just pounding the copper through with the punch forgot to press the record button I apologize about that the machete wasn't the right tool for this job not because it wasn't strong enough or sharp enough. I've already proven that in past videos. It's just this particular stator, as you can see, it was just bending it. And it just wasn't the way to do it. Now, I don't really like using the angle grinder for that stuff. It makes a really big mess. Here's a little bit of the copper dust that I was able to sweep up. It's everywhere. The other thing is you do not want to breathe this into your lungs. So make sure you wear a mask. All right, let's get a weight on all of the goodies we got from this alternator. Okay. Get this on there and tear that thing out. Start off with the copper from the stator. And we got one pound, 1.9 ounces. And then there's the copper from the armature. We'll add that. That was on the armature as well. And then these little connectors, they were copper. So we'll get that all in there. And we've got a grand total of one pound, 12.9 ounces. Not too shabby. I like it. Okay. We got a little bit of brass right here. Let's get a little weight on that. 5.3 ounces or wait nope I gotta tear that out <laughs> let's do that again that makes more sense 0.2 of an ounce of brass put that in the brass bin these things were in here in these little spots I just pushed them out they are brass but you can see there's this like black epoxy in there so that's just going to be dirty brass. And we got 2.65 ounces. Not bad. Not bad. Now for all of the aluminum. Let's see if I can get this stuff stacked up like I'm playing Jenga or something. Two pounds. 0.5 of an ounce of aluminum. Oh, that's aluminum. That was on the outside. We'll add that. 0.65. Two pounds of aluminum. Pretty sweet. And then oh, let's just weigh the steel just for the heck of it. If the scale will go up that high, I'm not sure. Get these two pieces or three pieces. Error error okay wrong scale let's get the other scale okay back with the other scale now we'll measure, weigh this steel get that piece on there and that piece and that piece five pounds nine ounces of steel so there you have it that is how you take apart an alternator as you can see, it was full of a lot of goodies. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to all of my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. I just saw Scrapper Brad give me my first super thanks. If you haven't ch checked out Scrapper Brad's channel, I'll put a link in the description. He's a great guy. You want to check him out. He's got a great cause going on while he's scrapping. All right. But again, thank you to all of my subscribers. I really, really appreciate it. And to all the new viewers, thank you for watching. Thank you, God, for this wonderful day. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life. Lord, I ask that you will just bless the people watching this video. You will bless my subscribers. You'll just bless them all, God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, my scrapping friends, I'll see y'all in the next video.